anime teaches us many things, and these characters give us some sick tunes in the process. God knows that I would follow you if that is what you wanted. Take me into all your darkest shadows and you'll see that I'm even stronger than you know. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 anime musicians. <laughs> For this list, we're taking a look at professional musicians or musically inclined characters in anime. Whether they're in a band, solo artists, or just play music as a hobby, any character who considers themselves a musician is fair game here. We be together forever, eternally God bless. Number 10, Maki Nishikino. Love Live. <laughs> Starting an idol group to raise money to save your high school is either the dorkiest or the coolest thing a teenager can do. It depends on what kind of band it is, though. One of the nine main characters in Love Live, Maki Nishikino is a rather skilled musician, especially for a teenager, as she's a rather impressive pianist and serves as the group's vocal coach for the majority of the series. Despite her skill, she's still rather naive and suffers from tsundere qualities, making it difficult to work with her. The better the musician, the harder they are to work with, right? Number 9, Basara Neki, Macross 7. out the red carpet for our next entry. In this part of the epic Macross space opera, we follow the rather popular rock band Firebomber as they interact with the various alien races they encounter. <laughs> Taking the place of their lead singer, Basara amuses many an audience with his powerful vocals and expert guitar riffing. A rather stylistic frontman, Basara is able to quickly take charge across the stage and melt the faces of his fans with his epic solos. You need a comparison? An anime version of the American rock band KISS. Rock and roll all night, indeed. Number 8, Brooke, One Piece. Please come inside and take a seat. I'm sure you have many tales to share. Look! It can talk! Are you in search of a rather extraordinary musician with an eye for style? Brooke is exactly what you need. Will you join our crew? <laughs> yes, certainly. <laughs> One of the more interesting members of Luffy's Straw Hat Pirates, and that's saying a lot, Brooke ate the Yomi Yomi Nomi Devil Fruit, and his soul was able to stay with his body after he died. Much to my soul's dismay, by the time it found my body, there was nothing left but a miserable pile of bones! Brooke is not only a great swordsman and a pirate, but also a really talented musician, who will often use his enchanting music during battle. Appropriately, his musical style is reminiscent of popular metal artists like Slash and Ozzy Osbourne. Arrow not Slash! Number 7, Mio Akiyama, K On. We're having a training camp! Training camp? That's right, summer vacation is almost here! We're going to the beach? Or maybe to the mountains? We're not going out there to play around. This will be a band training camp! Some of the best talent is often the most unrecognized. Four girls start a music club and form the band Hokago Tea Time. You do it like this. Oh, wow. As both the bassist and backup vocalist, Mio is an important part of the group, despite the fact that she does her best to be as tsundere as possible. Hand over the negatives now. It's a digital camera. There's no negatives. She is as committed to the group as anyone, and will even step in as lead vocalist if the situation calls for it. Don't let her mature and calm demeanor fool you either. She can tear it up with the best of them. Number 
26, Yukio Tanaka, Beck, Mongolian Chop Squad. That tears it. I'm gonna practice every waking moment. I'll play and play and play till I'm not good. Yeah. Everybody has that moment when you first discover a taste for music, and for Yukio, better known by his nickname Kuyuki, that moment was when his life hit rock bottom. 14 years old, and I already felt like my life was at a dead end. Well, until I met him. Initially a shy and closed off person, he later becomes the guitarist for the titular band Beck, further pulling him out of his shell. So, got anything going on Monday night? What's up? My friend Christine's birthday, we're having a party. I was hoping you might like to come. You serious? He quickly becomes an inspiration for his fellow bandmates, pulling riff after riff over each and every track. This just shows that music is the ultimate form of expression, and comebacks can happen both on and off the stage. <laughs> Number 5. Megumi Noda, Nodame Kantabil. Gomi no naka de utsukushiku hibiku piano sonata. Capriccioso cantabile. Kimama ni utau yona. While many may find success in the world of rock and roll, there is still really something to be said for classical music. In this Slice of Life series, we follow two classical musicians, pianist Megumi Noda in particular, as they learn the real value of classical music. <laughs> While often remarked for her brilliance, especially considering the early stage of her career, Megumi doesn't want to be famous or noteworthy and is truly just in it for the music. She pours her heart, soul, and all of her emotions into each composition. Number 4. Soichi Krauser Nagishi, Detroit Metal City. When you start your musical career, it's fine to tweak your genre just a little bit. Originally an aspiring musician for a fancy Swedish pop group, Suichi found his niche in the world of death metal, a rather different change of pace from his original roots. Suichi turns into his alter ego Krauser, the lead vocalist and guitarist of Detroit Metal City, Japan's hottest new black metal band. Cool. Oh. <laughs> Under the guise of Krauser, Soichi has proven his affinity for the guitar, and you would be hard pressed to find someone more hardcore than him. Seriously, playing with your teeth? That's hardcore. <laughs> Number 3, Nana Osaki, Nana. In this dramedy series, we see how two lives can be changed forever by both the power of music and friendship. Coming out of the horrors of a troubled childhood, Nana is able to reinvent herself as the lead singer of the punk rock band, The Black Stones. Now the very definition of a hardcore punk star, Nana serves as an inspiration to everyone, proving that you can succeed in your dreams. Just don't let anyone hold you back. Number 2. Santaro Karabuchi, Kids on the Slope. This coming of age story follows sheltered pianist Kaoru Nishimi and his exploration into the world of jazz with his resident school bully Santaro. Why are you holding my hand? <laughs> You're the one that grabbed my hand! Unlike Kaoru's classical background, Santaro has a primary background in jazz as a drummer. <laughs> Unlike our previous entries who have a love for music as a whole, Sentaro believes in the influence of jazz and jazz alone. Regardless, Sentaro amazes audiences with his drumming skills, especially when accompanied with the rest of his jazz ensemble. What's wrong with him? He's stiff. Is it because Yurika-san's watching? Wake up! Before we strum along with our top pick, 
Here are a few honorable mentions. Gakki wa UFO desu. UFO? Gakki no namae ka na? Hmm. Uniform no koto da yo. UFO ni yamu. Ah, uh. Teiyu ka, watashi ga UFO yatte ta koto wa himitsu ne. Eh, nande nande? Sono wo ga hoka no gakki ni utsuri yasui desu. Joshiki de teru yatsu ga wara. Urashiku suita mirai iro no melody. Number one, Kosei Arima, Your Lie in April. Let's face it, tragedy often makes the best musicians. One of the youngest piano prodigies in all of Japan, Kosei abandons his passion for the piano after his mother passes away. I never got to make it big in Europe. That's why you're going in my place. <laughs> if my going to Europe will make you happy, if you think it'll make you well again, then I... I'll do my best. After seeing the world in monotone for two years, his urge to play is sparked once again by a violinist. All right, so far so good. Now practicing in a new, unfamiliar style, he is able to move audiences once again with his powerful performances. Kosei puts so much emotion and strife into each piece that it could easily move any of us to tears. The moment he pressed that first gleaming key, my destiny was made clear. Do you agree with our list? Yeah, I get it, I know, I know. Who's your favorite anime musician? For more talented top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to Watch Mojo. <laughs> You guys are wonderful. It was a fun concert, but we only have time for one more song.